All right, guys, we got about an hour left on stream. Let's see about the super chats. So we had. I rock back and forth with the X and Y axis talking about Dante's Inferno. Uh, I couldn't play it on YouTube over 10 years ago. They didn't let me. They actually prevented me from uploading it to YouTube, saying it was too adult oriented. I don't know if that would change today, but no one seems to care about Dante's Inferno anymore. Okay, did a super chat saying, I love every moment of this. I'm glad you love my suffering, okay? Squeeze Banana did a super chat saying, consider a second Kirby playthrough permadeath run. No. And Burnt Zapato did a super chat saying, if you wore the surcoat, the skulls do no damage. Okay, so that is it, the surcoat. Now, how would you know that exactly, right? Again, unless you research ahead of time. If you research ahead of time and you know that, then you know, run, grab the circle, put it on. How the fuck would you know that? You don't. The game requires prerequisite knowledge. There's no way you could know unless you, you looked ahead. So. You. It's true then. The. <laughs> You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. And will one day rise again. Stronger. Or so you Until think. Until then, I must stay the path. And do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. This is farewell. Perhaps we will meet again along the path. So now I gotta go back. Where is it? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, there it is. It's in the middle of the pool. Oh, jeez. Ew. What the fuck? Oh, it's his head. It's his fucking head. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast. And not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent. Oh. Your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Dear Rikard, I wish to one day. fighting a random crucible knight. <laughs> so weird. It's the flame version of the crucible knight. Aspects of the Crucible Breath. We had the Tail Whip, and now we got the Breath. Ugh. Alright. Did I watch someone play through this part already? No. I'm doing what the people in the stream chat told me to do. <laughs> Martin says, what do you mean random? It's the night that was next to Tanit the entire game. Yeah, but he didn't look like that. 
He didn't look like a Crucible Knight to me. He looked like a unique knight, like a Hell Knight. But he's actually the Crucible Knight, which I didn't realize. It was fucking super easy. Consort's Mask, Consort Robe, Consort Trousers. Yuck. So he let the snake eat him, and when the snake ate him, the god-devouring serpent, it basically he became it, right? Ugh. Yuck. Reminds me of the god-devourer from Dark Souls 3, the one that ate, what's his name, Godwin or whatever? Gwendolyn? No, the one that ate Gwendolyn? Yeah. All right. Well. A new remembrance. Remembrance of Riker, Lord of Blasphemy, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Riker took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow, and live eternally. I understand. The road of blasphemy is long and perilous. One cannot walk it unprepared to sin. Alright. So we might see what I can make out of that. There's the rune that we need to go charge. Rikard's Great Rune. See the Divine Tower of West Altus, which stands upon the precipice. We have that. We can go right to it, actually. We have a fast travel, so we could do that. We will. Alright. So we have a few things to do here. Mask worn by Tanith, Lady of the Volcano Manor, in the image of a foreign queen, increases your dexterity. Long ago, when Rikard first set eyes on Tanith, she was working as a dancer in a foreign land. Soon he made her his consort. She was the only human to remain by his side when he became the Serpent of Blasphemy. In that moment, Tanith was truly charmed by him. Mm. Well, it raises your dexterity. It's not bad. If you're a dex build, it's probably really good. Same thing? No, this one doesn't raise dexterity. It just it has zero poise, too. Okay. All right. Well, we have a few things to do. First thing, I said we go try... Tra bleh. Let's go charge the rune. And let's see what it does, right? Let's see what the rune actually does. Door opens now. Maybe it's better than what I'm using. Morgoth's room, which is hell. Maybe this room's better, right? Wait, what was that? Did you see that? There's something there that's black. What the hell was that? I don't know if that was just a graphical thing. I've never seen that before. A black streak like that. Weird. Guts, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. What the fuck? Oh, that was a ghost. I thought that was a, a boss or something. Just it looked like a lightning bulb, a graphical glitch. It wasn't anything significant. Okay. Divine West Tower of Altus. I'm interested to see if this rune is any better than the others. It's also cool now you can see all of them. And you know from the map, you actually know all the different towers. There they are, see? The only one we don't know yet is the isolated Divine Tower. We found a way to teleport to it, but we don't actually know what it does yet. Makes me feel like there's one more ring shard bearer to come, right? There's got to be one more. Because you could charge one more rune there. This one over here, we've done. Yeah, this is the only one left. Darzy says, you notice all the, all the towers form a ring? Of course. It's supposed to be the Elden Ring. Of course. All right, let's see what this does. All right. So, okay. 
Its blessing restores HP upon defeating enemy. So it doesn't necessarily just give you a standard buff, but you'll always get HP back when you kill enemies. Rygard was among the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Merica. So same as Radon. Yup. But Rygard fed himself to the blasphemous serpent, great rune and all. So there you go. Man, these kids didn't have a good time. Radon lost his mind being overcome with scarlet rot during a war. Riker lets himself being eaten by a god serpent. I mean, yikes. So Morgoth and Godric are brothers, right? Or at least half-brothers, because they're of the golden lineage. These two were the kids of of those. The kids of Renala and Radagon, so they're kind of like one step down, right? Yeah. Somehow they still had pieces of the Elden Ring, though. Hmm. Okay. Weird fucking lore. It seriously is weird lore, dude. It's so odd. It's so odd. Uh, excuse me. Okay. They became stepbrother? Alright, I give up. Um, I might actually want to use this one. Reason being, the other ones, the others, right? You you really only get a buff and you die, you lose it. In this case, if you have this equipped and buff, every time you, you kill someone, you're gonna get health back. So it might actually be a really useful one. I might use this. I think I will. Might be my favorite one. Let's go back to the round table hold and see what you get from his remembrance. People are saying it's a really good weapon. Find out. It may be thousands of points. Okay. Uh. I receive power from remembrance. Oh, wait. Equipment of champions? Is there more equipment now? Radon, Queen, Briar, Helm, Radon. No. It's just the three. The Fell Omen's cloak. All right, nothing new there. So, do, 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 here it is. So, two weapons. We've got the Blasphemous Blade Great Sword. Strength, Dex, Faith build. It's physical and fire, so it's similar to the Magma Worm Sword I was using earlier. Sacred Sword of Riker, Lord of Blasphemy. Remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the surface of this blade. Now they share the same blood, bound together as family. Some HP is restored when you defeat an enemy. Unique skill is called the Taker's Flames. Raise the Sacred Sword aloft and set it ablaze with the Blasphemous Flames. Bring it down to fire off a forward blast. The flames steal HP from those they touch. An HP sucker. That's kind of interesting, don't you think? I do think so. Now here we got a, a 40 intelligence, 18 faith spell, Rikard's Rancor. It's the fucking skulls. Summon searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosion in their way. These spirits manifest from the rancor of heroes who met a violent end. The Lord granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the great serpent. Within the serpent's bowels, they became the Lord's kin. That's disgusting. Uh, this sounds pretty good. It does sound pretty good. Getting HP back for every hit is pretty sweet. The bummer here is that it's a fire base instead of a faith. But it does scale with faith. I think I'm going to make it. Now go forth, the, door. the first actual boss weapon I made in the game. Right? Now the funny thing is... I could probably level it up pretty high if I so choose, but that's going to use a lot of my somber smithing stones. I think I can only level two things up to like eight at this point. Is it worth it? I wonder. Fuck, I keep... What a bunch of you've 
know how to lay out your own. See how this goes. I can buy a somber smoothing stone three. That's okay. I'm not limiting myself here. If I use the 9, I'm basically locking myself out of taking something else all the way up right now because I only have one 9. However, that's going to get strength and deck scaling to C. So that jump is pretty significant. If you take a look at the scaling buffs, they do jump a lot. Uh, really? Elliptine says that you'll get plenty of 9 in the mountain area. Look at that fucking thing. And it matches my armor to some extent. It's moving. Oh, God, it moves. Look at it. Ooh, those are the souls of the dead warriors that were basically assassinated and absorbed into Rikert. And now their souls are stuck to the sword. Oh. That's both awesome and absolutely disgusting. Right? So you know what? I'm one-handing the fucking thing, right? The jellyfish shield. The divine scene acts as in, in itself a sacred invocation, gradually restores the carrier's HP. Interesting. Interesting. This has been an interesting stream for sure. I liked the dual wielding, but let's see how we do with a shield, shall we? I haven't used a shield the entirety of the playthrough. Hmm. Protusum Zone, what is your question about channel memberships? Let's hear it. How do I scale this thing? There's going to be a very simple way up. I, I almost guarantee it. There'll be a jump pad somewhere. It's not going to be complicated. It's going to end up being, like, matter-of-fact easy later. But right now, they're trying to make it confusing, right? <clears throat> I just rolled. I'm medium weight. I'm only medium weight. The heavier shields, yeah, is a problem. But I'm medium weight, and if I level up my endurance more... With each level, I should be able to put on even better shields after the fact. But the good thing is this, this shield is going to auto-restore my HP. This sword heals every time I kill an enemy. 
the special ability on the sword heals every time I kill an enemy. And the special ability heals every time it hits an enemy. So, I mean, pretty unique situation. Yes, Jade, today was a good, a definitely a good day for tips, and I'm very pleased with that. I really needed the help. Thank you to everyone who tipped me today. I appreciate it, guys. came back. Did you see that shit? I have slow HP regen and my health just came back when I killed him. Haha, ha, man. This is cool. This is a cool build. So... Maybe this way. Right? Maybe. Not really clear. I went west already. I guess we'll go east. Let's see what's east. What it presumes... Are you going to do any members-only streams or members-only interaction? No, we're not doing that. I've already explained many times why it doesn't make sense. Members get perks and stuff, but there's no members-only gameplay streams or anything like that. No, there's no plans for that. Look, I get health back. This is excellent. Look how much health I get back. A big chunk. This is going to dramatically reduce the amount I need to heal. Double kill. I think we got a gold seed over there. Of course, now his stagger is going to reset. <sighs> you really fuck. Good chunk of health. Sadly, I didn't get full heal, but man, it was a good chunk. We got a golden seed up here. I know, I can't believe the stream's almost over either. We barely did any exploration because we ended up doing an NPC quest and then finished Volcano Manor, so it is what it is. And they have two now, and they have two golden seeds. All right, just give it to me. <laughs> I have slow HP regen too, which is very slow, but you can see it's inching up very slowly, like tick, 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 tick.
still won't work. Look. Still won't work. Halberd, but I think I already had one, right? I'm pretty sure I already had the Golem Halberd. Oh. A new point of grace. The Golem. Golem Halberd. Okay. When is the next Kirby stream? Oh, uh, Wednesday night. Yes, Wednesday night. What is this called? The Freezing Lake? A new area called the Freezing Lake. Okay. I mean, I could look off the distance. Is there a purpose to this? That's what I want to do. I want to get up top here, but I don't know how to get over there. There's got to be a way to climb this. Is it behind me? It's behind me. So we go around and up here. That's how you get up. Okay. It works. People are saying that the fast response today worked. Work. Uh oh. We were saying the fast response worked. And you guys are seeing that I can react to you guys right away. That's cool. Boss here? You would think there was a checkpoint there. There's a boss. There's no boss in this frozen lake. Really. It's just empty. An empty frozen lake? That's lame. This would be the perfect spot for a boss. God damn it. We're gonna have these problems again. God damn it. I got it. Ash of War Sepuku. Kill yourself. Okay. Well. Weird. It definitely looks like this should be a lake with a boss. Why else was there a checkpoint at the ed entrance to the lake? But there is, like, nothing here. It's pretty empty, actually. Why is it glowing here? There's nothing here. It's weird. Is this a lighting thing? Yeah, there's like nothing there. It's a waste of time. <laughs> well, look what I found. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Martin says, Sapuku is the best blood-based art of war or ash of war in the game. Use an arcade his arcade build. It's absolutely insane. Hmm. Spirit Caller Cave. I need to call out to some spirits. I need to ask them what the fuck they were thinking with that Riker boss fight. <laughs> hey, spirits! Can you... Jump the barrier, tell FromSoft to not make that fight, change it up to be a real boss. It's a stupid gimmick. To be summoning. 
seek good sort. Be wary of a hole. Ooh. Oh, there's the hole. I see the hole. Be wary of the butthole. Really? Monica says if you go to deep parts of the frozen lake, there's a special surprise. No doubt. Absorb all the health. Beautiful. A shitty arteria leaf. There's two ways to go. No, there's not. There's one way to go. Wait. There's one way to go. Unless it's an illusory wall. It's not. But there's a material cave moss. Very exciting. Perhaps the entire cave will be like this, right? Summon monsters. No trap ahead. Oh, good. Rune Arc. Hero Rune 1. Golden Rune 10. And I got health and I don't even know why. I just got health for no reason. Not going to complain. Two-hand the weapon when I'm not using the shield. I guess I could, but everything's here is easy, right? I'd rather just run around with the shield for defense if I need it. You know, if I go to a boss, maybe I'll, uh, I'll two-hand. It's an interesting build. In one day, my entire build went again changed to this new armor set, a crazy new weapon that looks insane, and then a fucking sh a cool shield. Pretty nice. do it. What the fuck? There's no point to being here. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Anyway. Oh, hi! Who the fuck are you? Inaba. It's Inaba, disciple of Okina. I didn't even get anything. You usually get an item when you kill one of those. I didn't get shit. I guess it was a trap. <laughs> All right. And a golden rune. Where is the snail? Where is the snail? Whole, a whole armor set. Is there a second snail? There must be because there's still wolves. And this asshole. There's got to be a second snail. I don't see it. Maybe it's on a ledge because I'm not... Oh! Fuck face! No, la 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 la! Ah, la 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 la! Got him! Clear the room! So there you go. That's why I don't get an item from killing those guys because they're summons from the snails. Cool. I got a whole new armor set to check out. 
Thank you to Commander Gadget Plays for a, a super chat. I appreciate that. What? It said I got an armor set. Maybe I didn't get the helmet. Oh, white reed armor. Armor of the white reeds, fashioned from banded from iron plates, worn by the Inaba, head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. The Inaba traveled in pursuit not only the master who abandoned them, but also proper deaths, won honorably through hard fought combat. To be a white reed is to seek death, fitting for the Inaba, who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. Interesting. I like how they, that's the uh, samurai style armor, right? Pretty cool. Shout out to Commando Gadget Place, who now become a channel supporter as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Super chat and a membership. Really appreciate it. All right. I officially love this build. I'm getting so much health back. I don't need to have her heal. Boss ahead. Okay. Now we two hand. All right. Summon, isn't he? Doesn't that mean there's a snail in the room? Looks like he's a summon. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do have to fight him head up. Alright. Alright, never mind. Whiff. Got me with the pullback and the combo. Definitely know that fight a lot better now, huh? Wait, that's not it. Oh my god, you gotta fight them both? I forgot to reassign my flasks. 
I completely forgot to reassign my flasks. So, I didn't have enough healing. I have way too much FP. And now I... Oh, okay. Oh, it didn't fucking give me a checkpoint outside of the fight. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I definitely need like one or two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need that much. Maybe two. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Well, I have to go through the whole cave again, don't I? The game decided in all its wisdom to not have a checkpoint outside of the boss. So I now have to run through the entirety of the fucking cave again. Great. Trigger an attack, he's not doing shit, look!
so delayed. The game says, oh, he's going to combo and hit you twice with the roll instead of once. So it does double damage. Right. What's funny is the first time you fight them, you definitely think the skinny godskin apostle is the scarier one. I actually now think the fat guy is the tougher opponent. I really believe that. In this, at least in this fight, he's dealing way more damage. He's got crazier range.
didn't work. Again, it's the same shit again. Where he hits me with two hits in one and it does double damage and kills me. That's the second time in a row. First it was the roll, then it was a double stab. Two hits. Uh, I'm gonna get him. I mean, it's a fun fight. I actually like it because it's fair. It's one-on-one -on -one, twice. And I know I can do it. It's just... It's bad luck with those fucking hits. All right. That's it for today. Next time around, obviously, we retackle that. And uh, I'm going to beat it. Hopefully, get a good reward for it. You know, this is a new area. I'm excited that this is a new area and I'm t taking on new challenges. Sucks that I'm fighting the same fucking guys again and again. But at least it's uh, a different version and a different outing. But wow, today was interesting. Today was interesting. With the amount of progress. I mean, from the beginning of the stream to now, I got a completely different build. Uh, which is neat. And, uh... I hope you guys like the stream despite my rage and hating that fucking optional boss fight, which I really feel that gimmick fight is the worst in the game so far. It's really shitty. But outside of that, I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for the very large amount of support on today's stream. Until next time later in the week. Peace out.